Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is Skyrim, episode 23. Alright, <clears throat> when we left off, we had uh, just finished off the leader of Silverhand here, and we're going to go down here and see what stuff we can scrounge up out of the uh, mines here, I guess. And I had the key from the uh, leader, so we don't need to deal with lockpicking. That's nice. It's always nice when you can do that. And I'm overburdened here, so I'm going to actually drop something. Woodcutter's axe, that'd be... That'd give me enough weight as a wiggle room. And... Let's do a little sneaky sneak. Huh? Oh, there's this guy. Well, didn't expect that. <laughs> All right, there's that, and there's some iron there, so we have an idea of what to mine later. Um, someone's here. And you are hitting me with a pickaxe in the other hand. Lady, what are you doing? Okay, uh, I got an itch on my nose some here or something. Anyway. She had two steel maces and decided she wanted to hit me with a pickaxe. What the hell? Oh, someone's coming. That's for sure. Oh, there. Pretty good with a bow. <laughs> let's uh, up our health real quick. And let's do something with... Hmm. This is always a tough part where we have to decide what we want most. Uh, we're pretty close to the next level of 20, of two-handed, since we're at 49, that's what I meant to say. Uh, the words got crushed together and just, irk. Uh, anyway, let's see, what else can I do? Uh, heavy armor, I can actually hold on to this perk for later, so let's do, wait, no. Oh, yes. We can get Firebolt and cast it for half Magicka. That's great. We'll do that. And you are going to be beat down so hard. Ooh, run through. Oh, that did not end well for you, did it? There we go. That's the stuff. Is there anything else we can do here? A lot of iron. Which is what we need, but I don't have that much room to begin with. Ooh. That was necessary. Damn, they sprung a lot of their own rock traps. <laughs> Failures! Okay. Pickaxes. Damn, there's a lot. Um. I still have a pickaxe, right? Yeah. There's a lot of iron here, so I'm going to take all of it. Yep, there we go. And this is a quick way to do it, even though it does take a little while to uh, get to the spot after a while. Whoops, uh-oh. And let's do some quick strikes like this. Whoops, uh-oh. Okay. Man. This feels so quick. It's quicker than... If I did it any other way, that's for sure. I might just start doing that from now on in these games. Save me some time and trouble. And I still need to pick up that woodcutter's axe, because I need to drop it off at the house that we have. I, it was actually uh, on my off time playing Stray Cat, and I was so amazed at the difference between <laughs> the house there and our house here. It is so much more there than there is here. <laughs> And I think there's a couple iron ore in there. Yeah, there is. Whoa, those are big hunks of iron ore. Damn. All right, and head up. Yeah, this this low part 
when you're so overburdened with it that you can't do anything. I'm aware I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Stop telling me. Um, then there's some down here. Yep, I'm not hitting it at all. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to hit this unless I'm crushing. Nope, not even then. Guess I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I just pull out another pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, that works. <sighs> this is the slow part. Yeah, it doesn't work for everything, but it works for most things. So there's that. And pull out the great sword. And let's make it quick. Zoom through. This is actually taking up a bit of stamina. There we go. And I don't think I bought a horse yet. So I'll have to rely on strength potions, which I don't have. Crap. Oh, that's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> okay. Um, I should have something, shouldn't I? Yeah, draw to strength. And that would just barely do it. Um, what can I drop that I don't need? Uh, I do have another pickaxe at the house, so I'll drop that. And I'll drink this. And I'll head there straight away. Drop off all this good stuff. Because there's a lot of it. <laughs> okay. Recording's going good. Alright. Today is a decent day. It's like 8.38 right now. To date. <laughs> to date how this video came up. Each time you level up, you may pick a perk. You may save your perk choice for later if you don't quite meet the requirements of the perk you want. Which is what we're, we were doing until I discovered, oh, there's freaking destruction magic at apprentice level. Hell yeah. Anyway, let's go over here and drop stuff off real quick. Ah, huh, seems our flowers are kind of growing in now. Um, hmm. Let's drop off the dragon bones. Because we have a lot of those. That's pretty much the majority of our weight. And then there's some... There's 44 iron ore. Holy crap. It's amazing. How much do we have total? Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, then. That was all we had. Fun. Anyway. Silver hand stratagem. Bunch of leather gonna need to break that down um i meant to destruction i don't really need that as much as i think i do iron helmet of minor alteration don't really need that I can sell that mm, excuse me the circlet of conjuration that one we could use in fact yeah we'll Deconstruct that one, but I don't think... Whoa, hey! What? What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> I think she got confused, because I was shouting. <laughs> and I'll take that. And up the hill we go. Ooh, itchy. I'm itchy on my head. It's not fun. What? I've been looking for you. Got okay. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right, give it to me. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Oh. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, then. We'll do that. Why is the cow running away? There's not a giant around, is there? I don't think there is. Something? Sounds like there's something nearby. This cow is glitching out. Get in. 
Oh boy. Oh well, we'll just leave that the way it is. I'll harvest the wheat, mountain flowers. Um, those have already been picked. Leeks have already been picked. We'll just call that good for now. And we will head up there. It's always good, right? Uh, first, we should probably hit the Dragon's Reach and get some disenchanting stuff done. Oh, boy. Anyway, the Ritual Stone power lets you temporarily resurrect nearby corpses. Ugh. I was looking at the recording. Items can be stored safely in any containers in your own home, but items kept in any other containers may not be there later when you retrieve them. So, remember that. I am aware. You have told me this nine million times. Time to go away from him. Because he's just blathering on and on and on. Like family members. <laughs> Computer screen was dirty. Okay. Alrighty. Head up to the little workstation here. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're just blathering on about them though. So go ahead, continue. There we go. Oy vey, shut up. That's nice, I don't care. Shut up. Okay, then there's this stuff. There we go. Call that good. God, I have a lot of purple flowers. And we'll break down the circlet. I keep forgetting to leave that at my house. Uh... That would actually be good for selling if I'm just enchanting them onto weapons I don't want. In fact, we'll do that now. Now I think about it. Um, absorb health is better, though. That's true. So, yeah, we'll do that instead. <laughs> and there. That's a decent enchantment. But keep studying. You decent? The surface. You shut your mouth. I'm the best. Okay. Um, we'll do that with a petty soul gem. Because it's not going to be worth much. I'm just going to do it there because eh, it gives me experience. See? Anyway. Just going to go this way. We're eventually going to do that enchanting stuff later. Uh, probably not in this episode, but... Probably next one. After this one. After this little mission gets completed. Speaking of which, I need to go to Ayala for that. But first, we're going to talk to Eorland and offload some of our heavy stuff. Okay, woo! And possibly get some new metal stuff in return. I'm hoping for Ebony. Because that's the next step up in the smithing ladder. And also in the heavy armor ladder. So that'd be nice. There he is. There you are, Yorland. Talk to you. Got a lot of steel to shape. Yes, what have you got for sale? Gods be praised. Yes. All of them. Uh, nope. Not a single bit of ebony. Crap. But I can still sell stuff to you. So we'll sell that. Uh, those those. Those don't really have any weight, but no value either. So, we'll just keep those for when we eventually get one of those. Do that. Oh, you don't have enough, do you? Hmm. Tell you what, I'll take some of these corundum ingots off your hands, and I'll sell that to you, and that to you. There we go. All square. Yep. I go, and down I go. <laughs> Ow. Hmm. When you have a big heavy weight swinging around your upper body, your lower body has to compensate, or you'll fall right over. 
But what if it's on your lower body? Am I right? Am I right? No? Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Okay. That's a... Uh... <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, dick jokes for the win. Okay. Let's actually go back. Because I just realized I got distracted by Yorland and they're talking. So we'll go through the front door. And we'll immediately start doing the uh, little enchanting stuff. Which starts at Azura's Shrine. You'll, you'll get the walkthrough. You'll get the walkthrough. Don't worry. You'll get it. And you're over there. There we are. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. Yes, soon enough. I've got the plans. Perfect. Hopefully this will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. I'd say so. So, what's the next target? The Silver Hand has been scouring the world for more pieces of Wuthrad. Of course they have. One group is hidden out in Hjalmarch. Hjalmarch. Get it back, for the honor of us all. Okay. But, uh, where is that, exactly? Um... Orthheim. Is that what it is? Uh, world map. Orthheim is where, exactly? Oh! It's part of Morthal's hold. Okay. We could probably reach there. But that's not where we're going right now. There we go. We'll go out the door. And we'll head straight out to the shrine. Yeah, there we go. My brain just did a little whirring motion like a computer does. Buy lumber. I still don't need to buy lumber. I have a steward. She does it for me. Where's Azura's shrine again? I could have sworn I unlocked it. There it is. Shrine of Azura. There we go. As a werewolf, the inventory button will bring up the werewolf perk tree. Perks are earned by eating corpses. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. What the fuck? Just give me a full face of horse butt. Yeah, that's it. Fucking, what the hell? This game glitches out like something crazy. She wouldn't even believe half these glitches. Oh, shit. I completely forgot to get a new fire spell. But I'll get it soon enough. Okay. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. Uh-huh. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Really? Seen my coming? What do you mean? Seen my sex type? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this oh, altar. Oh, that's what you meant. Before you okay. Fell. Oops. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Mm -hmm. Very well. What does Azura need? You must go to a fortress in <laughs> by water. Need yet untouched by it. Hmm. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It hmm. is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Fair enough. Uh, I know some story things about this later, but I'm not going to point it out right away. And I forgot to turn my mic up. <laughs> It'd probably be nice right now. You can probably barely hear me over the music. Uh, hmm. Let's head to Winterhold now, then. Because I'm pretty sure that Elven Enchanter's in the inn. I'm going to turn up the mic a little bit. Four. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully it'll work anyway. Whoa, it went full screen. 
the hell? I don't want you to go full screen. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Um, the frozen hearth. We'll go in there real quick and then we'll end the episode. Ooh, that's wonderful music. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? The smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. Whoa. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. Minor? I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. He has a point. Anyway, we'll call that good for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share, comment so I can talk to you people and bring more people into this community. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat signing off.